up here. So, superior vena cava, brachiocephalic, left brachiocephalic, right brachiocephalic. And this is the only model that we see what flows in to the brachiocephalic. I mean, you can see it really well. So this is internal jugular, uh, vertebral or vertebral, and external jugular. What does that mean? Internal jugular draining the brain, vertebral alongside the you know vertebral arteries, the vertebral vein in the transverse process, and then external jugular is going to drain all the blood from your face, you know, facial muscles and skin. That always shows up in a lab test, and people always goof. Mm -hmm. This one's been broken off, but you should see three things that all come down into the brachiocephalic. So if you draw a little picture, you put on a flashcard, and you remember internal jugular, vertebral, external jugular. Okay, that's pretty easy. I guarantee you it'll be on your test. Um, the other part that's a little tricky is you have subclavian, and then you have um, basilic. This is basilic that comes here. Important because off of basilic is median cubital. That's where you draw blood from. Oh. That shows up for sure. Got to know so that. that you got to know that. Yeah. Because that's what you're looking for when you draw blood. I know. I'm median really cubital at vein, ER. which comes off of basilic. This branch up here, which if we had it on a, on a real, you know, on a skeleton or cadaver, this is cephalic, and I think the easiest way to remember it, if you look in your book, you'll see it goes over the head of the humerus, hence cephalic, it goes oh, over nice. the head. Nice. So, the guy in the middle here is like, axillary here, and then it comes down to brachial, and it stays brachial until it gets to just above the elbow, and then it bifurcates into ulnar and radial. Nice. It sits deep, and that's why it's shown deep here. Your um, basilic and cephalic are superficial. What's the one in the middle? Um, median, what's it called, median, I can't think of the name of it now, median antibrachial, which is probably that, not on our test. Okay. But median antibrachial. So that's for, um, vein. veins. And that's, what I just went over is probably the trickiest part. Okay. Um, artery stuff, um, this, is, this is shown really well on the um, plastic boards, but you can see abdominal aorta bifurcating here into internal iliac and external iliac, mm -hmm. and this is common iliac. So common iliac is only like a half inch, that's it. Mm. And the veins are named the same way. The names of the veins are exactly the same. So that, that would be that right. Place. Right? Common left iliac. And right. So that's common and then there's internal right external. and then left. Mm. Common iliac uh -huh. artery and then internal iliac on the inside and external on the outside. So common iliac uh -huh. is is that first little section. And then internal iliac goes medial, and external iliac goes lateral. And the other side has the mirror image of that. That's common iliac vein? Uh, there's both. Artery. There's artery and vein. I was pointing to the red, so I was pointing to the uh, artery, but artery. the vein is the same. Okay. Oh, okay. Same names. Um, so if you're looking at vein, you come down here, um, you know, popliteal, behind the tibia, posterior tibial, in front of the tibia, anterior tibial. Actually, where is, 
the long, long, long one is great saphenous. And then the small one is small saphenous. This is small saphenous right here? Yes. This is great. The longest one is that one. That's your great saphenous. And common iliac artery. Internal iliac goes inside, external iliac, um, crosses over the head of the femur, becomes femoral, and then it's femoral all the way down until it gets posterior knee, and now it's popliteal. Okay. And then it, by, it splits here. Um, there's deep femoral, and fibular. Anterior tibial. Then the only tricky thing here at the ankle is dorsalis pedis. So at the ankle joint, right there, pretty much midline, is dorsalis pedis. Okay. That always shows up because once in a while in nursing you have to take a pulse of a lower extremity, mm. and that's the easy place to go to. Yep. And you could you could find that on yourself easily. It's superficial, it's right there at the ankle. Um, hemi azygos. So over here, you got this long artery, which is kind of draining your organs here. Hemi azygos versus azygos. So you kind of have to. It's always going to be on this on this rod. So the azygos is closer to the rod. Yeah, it's on the it's rod. It's touching the rod. Yep. And hemi. hemi. Hemi azygos is on the left side of the rod. The abdominal stuff, it's too hard to see because you have the rod there. So for, for those kind of questions, we use this board. Um, 